Choose a job you love, and you will never have to work a day in your life. Once upon a time, there was a young woman named Lily who had a passion for painting. Despite societal pressure to pursue a more traditional and financially stable career, she decided to follow her heart and become an artist. Lily poured her heart and soul into her artwork, and her passion shone through every stroke of the brush. Her dedication paid off, and she not only found immense joy and fulfillment in her work but also achieved great success and recognition in the art world. The man who asks a question is a fool for a minute, the man who does not ask is a fool for life. In a small village, there lived a curious young boy named Ethan. He was always filled with questions about the world around him and would often approach the village elder, Mr. Wu, to seek answers. While some villagers considered Ethan a nuisance for his constant inquiries, Mr. Wu admired his thirst for knowledge. He patiently answered Ethan's questions, encouraging him to explore and discover more. Over time, Ethan's inquisitiveness grew, and he became a wise and respected scholar in the village, all because he was never afraid to ask questions. The superior man understands what is right, the inferior man understands what will sell. In a bustling marketplace, two merchants, Daniel and Michael, set up their stalls side by side. Daniel, driven by profit, focused on selling counterfeit goods to maximize his earnings. On the other hand, Michael, guided by moral principles, offered genuine and high-quality products. While Daniel's profits soared initially, customers soon discovered the truth, and his reputation suffered a severe blow. In contrast, Michael's integrity and commitment to providing value earned him the trust and loyalty of customers, leading to long-term success. The more you know, the more you realize how much you don't know. Emily, a young scholar, spent her days immersed in books, constantly seeking knowledge. The more she learned, the more she realized the vastness of the world's wisdom. This realization humbled her, inspiring a lifelong journey of learning and exploration. Despite becoming an esteemed expert in her field, Emily remained humble, always acknowledging that there was more to discover. Her open-mindedness and thirst for knowledge enabled her to continue growing intellectually and contributing meaningfully to society. Respect yourself and others will respect you. In a close-knit community, there was a young man named Lucas who carried himself with dignity and treated others with respect and kindness. He held himself to high moral standards, never compromising on his principles. Lucas's genuine respect for himself and others garnered admiration and respect from his peers and community members. People sought his guidance and valued his opinions because they knew he was a person of integrity. Lucas's self-respect became the foundation for building positive relationships and a strong reputation. To see what is right and not do it is the worst cowardice. In a kingdom ruled by an unjust king, a wise minister named Samuel observed the suffering of the people but remained silent out of fear. However, his conscience weighed heavily on him, knowing that he had the knowledge and power to make a difference. Overcoming his fear, Samuel gathered the courage to confront the king, advocating for fairness and justice. Though initially met with resistance, his persistence and unwavering commitment to what was right eventually sparked a movement that brought about positive change in the kingdom. The strength of a nation derives from the integrity of the home. In a prosperous nation, there was a strong emphasis on fostering harmonious family relationships. Parents, like Richard and Sarah, devoted time and effort to instilling moral values, respect, and love within their home. As their children grew, they carried these principles into their interactions with others, spreading harmony and integrity throughout the community. The nation flourished because its foundation was built upon the strength and moral fiber of its families.
The gem cannot be polished without friction, nor man perfected without trials. Thomas, a young sculptor, aspired to create masterpieces that would stand the test of time. With each block of stone, he encountered challenges and setbacks, but he persevered. The difficulties he faced in sculpting refined his skills, patience, and perseverance. It was through overcoming these trials that Thomas transformed rough stone into exquisite works of art, honing his craft and perfecting his talent. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Sarah, a traveler with a free spirit, embarked on a journey to explore the world. With each new destination, she immersed herself in the local culture, connecting with people and embracing new experiences wholeheartedly. Her enthusiasm and genuine interest in the places she visited left a lasting impression on the people she encountered. Sarah's adventurous spirit and wholehearted approach to life enriched her own experiences and brought joy and inspiration to those she met along the way. What the superior man seeks is in himself, what the small man seeks is in others. In a small village, two friends, Ethan and Benjamin, had contrasting perspectives on personal fulfillment. Ethan believed that true happiness and self-improvement were found within oneself and sought to cultivate his virtues and talents. On the other hand, Benjamin constantly sought validation and happiness through the opinions and possessions of others. Over time, Ethan's self-reliance and commitment to personal growth led him to a fulfilling and contented life, while Benjamin's constant reliance on external sources left him perpetually unsatisfied and seeking more.